Okay, so again, our bullet's coming in, it's going to go enter the block, the block's going to rise up. Now to solve this problem, to figure out the velocity of the bullet, we're actually going to go backwards. So we've kind of done a problem like this before when we were doing the bazooka, where we had this moving this way, and we kind of figured out what happened at the end. Now we're going to go backwards and figure out what happened at the beginning. So our first step is to figure out how high this block went. So what is the H, the height off the ground? Okay, so let's do figure out that first. To figure that out, we're just going to do some geometry. We have done this problem before. Just going to do a little geometry and figure this out. Notice this is 22 centimeters. Therefore, what's this length all the way from here to here? 22 centimeters. Okay, so actually it's just blow this up here. So this is 22 and this is 22. This is 10 degrees. Okay, so if we draw a triangle across, or if we create a triangle by drawing across here, we can find this distance, right? We'll call that D. How are we going to find D? So D is going to be equal to 22 cosine of 10 degrees. Okay, so if that's 21.6, how are we going to find the H here? Okay, we'll subtract that. Yeah, so this H, the whole thing is 22. So H is going to be equal to 22 minus 21.6, 0 0.4 um, centimeters. What's the lowest height today? kind of slow. So anyway, that's going to be 0 0.4 centimeters. All right. What do you guys think? What's going to be our next step then? So yeah, so what we can do is, if we know how high it went, we can figure out how fast the combo was moving after the collision, right? Once it went in here, it had a velocity, and then it started to go up. So we can figure out what that velocity was right after it colli collided. So this would be, we'll call it the V combo after the collision. Oops. And this one you've done probably literally a hundred times. Yeah, you do have to convert that, good. So again, right here, we would have all kinetic. It's going to rise up. We're going to have all potential right there. So we'll say Ke equals Ug. OK, and yeah, don't forget to convert to meters. So point zero zero four. So the combo velocity is not going to be that fast. Yeah. Does combo mean blocks? The block and the bullet combined, yeah. So here's the bullet. Once it's embedded, together they go up. All right, help me out. What's our B? 228. 28. Is that being confirmed? So this is the combo velocity. Okay, now ultimately, now we're at our final step. We're going to find how fast the bullet was moving before it hit the block. 
Okay, we're going to use one of our conservation laws. Which one? Energy or momentum? Momentum. Why can we not use energy? How do we know we can't use energy? This is completely inelastic, and we know energy is always lost in completely inelastic. So you have to use conservation momentum. And actually, as you've probably noticed, it's easier to use conservation of momentum than conservation of energy. You don't have to deal with those square values. So this is going to be mv equals mv. Or this would be the mass of the bullet, the velocity of the bullet. This is going to be the comboed mass and the combo velocity, combined mass. So our mass of our bullet was 8 grams, 0 0.008 VB. The combo mass is the combined mass, right? So 70 plus 8, 0 0.078. And then the velocity combo that we just found, 0.28. So how fast is our bullet in this case? OK, or marble, right? OK, 2.7. Good.